Hey guys, welcome back. This is Cool IT Help. In this session, we are going to download and install Apache NetBeans 20, which is the latest version, and we are going to install on Windows 11. Let's begin. This tutorial is very simple, and I will explain you everything here. Okay, let's begin with the installation. First, we have to understand the prerequisite to install the Apache NetBeans 20. Okay. So here is the basic requirement. So Apache NetBeans 20 binary releases requires JDK 11 plus. It means you must have the JDK 11 or later version on your system. Okay. Because the officially declared that NetBeans 20 must have JDK 11, 17 and 21. Only these can support Apache NetBeans 20. Okay let's begin so first you have to check on your system you have a jdk 11 or later version on your machine right so just open this command prompt and type this simple command java space hyphen version press enter and then you will see this kind of message the java version okay 21 you can see this machine has uh, java 21 this time okay so please verify that your machine has JDK 11 or later version, right? Once you verified, you can jump to the step two. Now in this step two, we will download the installer. This is the download link and the same link given in the description. Okay, let's copy this link quickly, open the browser and paste it in the browser address bar, press enter. You can see this is the official download page of the NetBeans. This is the trusted source for the downloading, right? Always try to download from the trusted sources. You can see there's the binaries platform independent zip file, but we will not do that. We will simply go with the simple installer version. Okay, so here is the installer for the 64 bit machine. Just click on this link and again you will be redirected on the new page. I'm not sure why the Apache NetBeans developer do this kind of arrangement navigating to different pages. But once we reach here, we can simply click on this link and the downloading will start. Okay, let's click on it. Here you can see uh, that uh, size is 475 MB. Okay, and we need 25 minutes because there's very uh, low speed of the internet. Okay, uh, in your case, this can be downloaded uh, quickly. Okay, once the downloading is finished, you will have this kind of exe, just double click on it. Okay, you will see this kind of pop-up user account control. Click yes. And then you will see this kind of progress bar. And then you will see the first installation window, configuring, ins configuring installer. Okay. Once you come here on this, this is installer, and these are going to be installed as a part of this installer package. Okay. We have the customized option, but I don't think we need this. Okay. You can see the size, which is we need the space 941 MB, right? Please make sure you have the sufficient space, except the Terms and condition, click next. And then this is the location. Generally, uh, this kind of setup goes to the program files. And if you want to install in a different directory, you can choose it. And guys, see this. This JDK has been detected because we have set up the Java home path in the environment variable. Make sure you have Java home. Otherwise, if you don't have the Java home setup, then you can simply browse and go to the location where you have JDK folder on your system, right? Two ways. It is not necessary that you have Java home here on the environment variable. If you have, this will automatically detected and this will be filled up in that text box. If you have not set up this thing, to, no worries. Simply go to the browse and select the JDK folder path and click next and just click the install here the actual installation is in progress and this will not take much time 
maximum two to five minutes required for the complete installation. We have to wait for that. Once the installation is done, you will see this kind of message. Installation completed successfully. Congratulations, the installation is done. Click on the finish. Then you can go to the search. Windows search and just type NetBeans and then you will see the, uh, this icon. Click and launch the NetBeans. The splash screen you will see. Then uh, once the setup is complete, its configuration, you will see the landing page of the NetBeans IDE. Here we have uh, some links like you can go to the tour. What are the new things in the Apache NetBeans? You can go across it, read these documentations available on this website. There are simple project link, community corner. Also, there are some demo and tutorial links. You can simply click and go through and read and take the advantage of these documentations. So guys, we have installed the Apache NetBeans 20 on the Windows 11 64-bit machine. Now we will simply create a Java program. Here, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple Java project. Go to the file, then click on the new project. When you do it, you will see this kind of small window. You can see Java with Web Maven. There are a lot more options and the templates are available. And you can see the description clearly. It is mentioned that this feature is not yet enabled. When you press next, then this will be activated. Okay. By default, the features are disabled to make it lightweight. Once you progress, all the features will be enabled one by one. Let's proceed with the Java Maven. Okay. So I have selected the Java Maven. Click next. And you can see this progress bar configuring Java cluster. This time, the NetBeans set up, setting up this IDE for the Apache Maven Java project. Okay, then you will see the new project details. Fill the details like project name, project location. You can change the project location if you want to put your projects into different directory or different location. And see this group ID which is the package structure and the version is 1.0 and this is the package you can you want to change you can some you can do some changes with the package name as well when you proceed you can see within few seconds your project will be ready and you can see your project tree structure on the left hand side and this is the java class which has a main method just opened if you want to run it, simply go to the run. You can simply do the right click, run as Java project. Okay. On the console, you will see the result. You can see the file executed successfully. So this is the complete process to install, download and install Apache NetBeans 20 on Windows 11. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.